Hi, name is Tanimola Martins, and I'm a researcher at the University of Exeter Medical School. I work as a part of a leading research team uh, with Workstream focusing on improving uh, cancer diagnosis in the UK. Now, my team has led lots of uh, fantastic work uh, to improve clinical practice and policies in the UK to promote early diagnosis of cancer. Within this team, my work focuses on tackling ethnic inequalities in cancer. And I've pre uh, presented a, 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 sli a small slide here to show you what we know so far about ethnic minorities. First of all, to say that we have done very little research in relation to ethnic inequalities in health in general in the UK, especially so in cancer, compared to countries like the US. So we know that in the UK, the black group have uh, poorer outcomes of female breast and prostate cancer compared to other ethnic groups. We know that the Haitian are more likely to be diagnosed with advanced stage colorectal and lung cancer. For several other uh, cancer types, particularly some cancers that we know are more common in ethnic minority groups, we simply don't know because we haven't actually explored this part. We, we don't have good data to do this, but it's getting better now. What we do know that is in, in America, the black uh, Americans, uh, the African Americans, are more likely to die from nearly all cancer types compared to other ethnic groups. Now, the reason why we're seeing these differences uh, uh, across ethnic groups in cancer outcomes is not, is not very, very clear. We are, we are unraveling uh, the, uh, um, uh, these aspects. What we do know about cancer is the earlier you pick cancer, the better. Early stage cancer is treatable. Prognosis is good. Late stage cancer usually attract treatment, but not with curative intent and tends to have complication. Patients often die. The question you want to know is why are we seeing ethnic differences in the UK? Because we know that access to care is universally free in the UK. So why are we seeing these disparities across ethnic groups? For some people within the community, they might think it's racial discrimination. I'm sure people have experienced discrimination within healthcare. This is very, very common in the US. We've seen uh, that. And, and, and it's possible it's happening here in the UK, particularly so the way our healthcare is structured. We know that ethnic minorities tend to be concentrated in areas with significant deprivation. Now, that can mean that doctors in those areas are overworked uh, because there are lots of patients coming to their practice uh, in there. And, and so the attention they have for their patient may be slightly low. So th there is a tendency that the way our system is structured uh, uh, indirectly discriminates against patients. But we don't have evidence that racial discrimination explains differences in cancer outcome or stage of diagnosis. Poverty. Ethnic minorities are considerably poorer than the British uh, white majority in the UK. But I said earlier, access to healthcare in the UK is universally free. Tumor characteristics. This is the biology of the tumor. Faster growing tumors tend to be diagnosed at late stage and we know that for black women and, and, um, and black men, they tend to be diagnosed uh, with fast-growing female breast and prostate cancer. The other points we'd like to make here, and this is where I think we can make some difference, is the route to diagnosis. This is the pathway or the patient journey into hospital where uh, uh, definitive cancer diagnoses uh, are made. So uh, patients takes different routes to diagnosis, and I'll unpack that in a second. But what then happens uh, um, in terms of the route to diagnosis is it depends on how early patients choose to present to their uh, doctors and how early diagnosis is achieved. And there are several routes to diagnosis, but I've summarized them into a few. And the first is screening. We know that when patients participate in screening, you can pick up pre uh, cancerous uh, uh, disease 
and you know treatment can often be offered if there's something uh, um, looking in um, like a tumor tumor treatment can be offered and prognosis is good uh, for, for the vast majority of patients taking part in screening. Unfortunately, in the UK, we have screening for three cancer types, for breast, for colorectal, and cervical cancer. For several other cancer types, we don't have screening just yet. And so while uh, yeah, we uh, um, are hoping for technological innovations in, uh, in providing screening for patients, we, we have to rely on patients who present with symptoms. Unfortunately, for ethnic minority groups, they tend to be less likely to take up screening in the UK. The other route to diagnosis is emergency diagnosis. This is when patients present at the accident and emergency. And what we know about emergency presentation is symptoms, I mean, the cancer tend to be in the late stage. With all the complications, patients tend to die. Well, the evidence we have so far from what we've recently found is that there is no evidence that ethnic minorities, I'm talking about Haitian and black people in the UK, there's no evidence that they are more likely to be diagnosed as emergencies. What we found is that, uh, and, and just before then, the, the other route to diagnosis is hospital routes, quite similar to, to accident and emergency. Patient, you know, visit their hospital for maybe something different, and perhaps during the process of examination, doctors found something and they said, let's check what this means, and it turns out to be a cancer. Patients, stage of diagnosis in hospital, uh, patients who present via hospital is quite variable. You know, we, we, sometimes you have late stage, most of the time uh, you, you may have early stage, depending on, um, on what stage uh, patient cancer is. But uh, hospital routes is another route to diagnosis, and it tends to be uh, very few patients go through this route. The vast majority of patients in the UK are diagnosed after visiting their GPs in primary care. Now, when patients present in primary care, uh, GPs carry out investigation and decide whether or not patient requires a uh, specialist uh, examination at the hospital. We know that most ethnic minorities in the UK, this is by far their highest route to diagnosis. They tend to use their GP more, you know. So the problem though is, even though it sounds like a straightforward business, patient presents, GP perform tests, or something wrong, let's refer to the hospital, it tends to be more complicated. And as you can see in this uh, uh, framework, this, this is model of a pathway to diagnosis. It's a, actually, it's a dynamic process. It takes time for patient to uh, decide whether or not their symptoms is something worth seeking help for. Uh, most of the time, if it doesn't affect their lifestyle, they tend to carry on. And when they do present at the hospital, the GP obviously don't want uh, to find something that is not really, really important and put patients under unnecessary anxiety. They want to be careful. They want to do thorough examination. They want to see that this is actually, uh, there is a problem. And, you know, this can go back and forth. Patient might have to present several times before a referral uh, are made. And if you live in areas where GPs are generally burned out and work too hard, chances are referral to the hospital might be slightly delayed. So delay can occur at every stage. The key thing is before the GP referral, they have to assess the symptoms. The nature of symptoms matter. If the symptoms is like blood in urine, that you know, rings alarm bell, you know. But if patient is having frequency, that's going to often to, to the loo, and they also have diabetes. GP might be wondering whether the symptoms is due to their diabetes, you know. So that can affect uh, referral. Poverty, I put poverty there because patients who are poor may be less well-educated, may not be able to express themselves very well in English, and so may delay presenting to the GP, may not be able to articulate their symptoms appropriately to the GP. And so that also can affect um, their experience. We showed in our previous study uh, that uh, ethnic minorities, that's Asian and black people in the UK, are more likely to delay presenting few cancer types uh, to their GP. So when they have symptoms of breast, colorectal, esophageal cancer, lung cancer, prostate, non Hodgkin lymphoma, as well as ovarian cancer, they tend to delay presenting to their GP. We also found that 
they may actually experience further delay once they present these uh, symptoms of this cancer to their GP. We also found in our previous study that particularly black men, they tend to under-report symptoms. So it may be, in the case of Ben, maybe he was experiencing frequency and uh, urgency and a material image, just decided to go to the GP and say, oh, I go to the, I go to the toilet quite often these days. Only if he tells the GP he's having blood in the urine, maybe that will prompt the GP to refer. So we noticed that uh, for ethnic minority groups with uh, urinary symptoms, the black people actually tend to under-report their symptoms. And part the, for some of the reasons they gave when we were conducting this study was the 10 minutes is simply too short, especially if you have uh, several conditions uh, uh, going on. How, you haven't got enough time to explain all of this. We also noted uh, in a previous study that black men were less likely to accept uh, investigation. And, and, and I must warn that this uh, study was based on an hypothetical scenario. We presented a hypothetical scenario to patients that, well, if you have these symptoms and the doctor says we need to conduct this test called PSA, uh, uh, and a post prostate specific antigen test, or conduct a digital rectal examination where the GP puts a finger uh, through the, uh, the man's uh, uh, bum and, and feel the prostate gland for any changes. What we found in that study is that black men say if the symptoms uh, is not serious, if I think my, my, my risk of cancer is low, I won't accept this test. Whereas white men will happily take this test even when the, the risk of cancer is at the lowest. We also found that in men with urinary symptoms, GP may be less keen on offering Asian men the PSA test, prostate-specific antigen test, as I mentioned earlier, partly because these patients have comorbidities, they have diabetes, they have cardiovascular diseases, which uh, have symptoms that are similar to prostate cancer. So there are genuine reasons why GPs are doing this. What we also saw in that study was the fact that GP patient communication wasn't always the best. Patients have been hacked to give blood. GP performed tests, they found nothing. They didn't tell patient what the test was for. They didn't tell the patient what the outcome of test was for. That will call you if you found something wrong. Usually, patients carry on experiencing symptoms. They don't know what is going on. But GP has found nothing. Communication is not happening. Patient is not asking because they are worried they don't want to have cancer anyway. You know, so GP patient communication hasn't always been the best, and if that can improve, that might help patients engage more uh, with their uh, symptoms as well as their healthcare. Again, safety netting is when the GP is not telling patients that, well, if your symptoms persist, please do call us back. You know, we believe all of these factors may, uh, may affect uh, 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 ethnic minorities patients' experience of care in the UK. What we do found also in our previous study is that the GP, the, the way patients approach their GP is different. When a white man goes to the, to, the, uh, uh, to the GP, he might actually go there along with his ur uh, urine sample, say, look, I think I have prostate cancer. I want you to test me. I want you to refer me. Whereas the black man or the Asian man may be less, you know, he'd be more reserved about this and say maybe I'm not sure and may not be quite upfront as the white man did. And that was what we saw in that study. And so to summarize uh, some of these things going on, we, 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 what the evidence is telling us that something harder than racism might actually be explaining ethnic inequalities in cancer outcomes. You know, for breast, and, uh, for breast cancer, we, can, we know that black women are less likely to take up can breast cancer screening. They may delay uh, seeking help uh, in primary care and may experience further delay uh, there. For prostate cancer, we have seen uh, that black men may be less willing to accept investigation if they think their risk of cancer is low. GP may be less willing to offer some patient tests if they, you know, they understand this patient very well and they know they have other conditions. Uh, for several other cancers, we simply don't know. And we are, we, we are exploring uh, some of these cancers in our ongoing studies. We also... Uh, uh, um, we would like to take students who are uh, PhD students who are 
interested in exploring this uh, uh, subject area, you can learn more about our work and you can uh, reach out, uh, email us, tell us um, what you would like to do. We are hoping, we'll be delighted to have you as PhD students, as researchers uh, to join our team. Uh, thank you very much.